Thank you for clicking through to this video, which is number eight of 12. And on this particular video, it's the metering lever, which can cause bog down for two stroke engines. I have uploaded the full version, the 12 reasons, but I've broke them down just to make it simpler and a little easier to find the content. So let's assume all's well there. So we'll move on now to my eighth reason for bogging down, and that's the metering lever. So just looking once again, it's how the diaphragm interacts with the metering lever. We can see it comes down and it pushes on the back of that lever just enough for the correct amount of fuel to come through, as we've already mentioned. And again, we've already mentioned that there's a correct space in there between the back of the lever and the diaphragm plunger. Let's now imagine the back of that lever, as you can see there, is low. So it's set too low. Because the lever itself is made of metal, the back of this lever can be set so that the metal can be bent in order to adjust the back of this lever. And sometimes what can happen is this can be set too low. If that's the case, then this is what happens. It's a similar scenario to having a short plunger. In fact, the result's exactly the same. The needle valve is now not being lifted high enough again, not allowing enough fuel through. So although the diaphragm's now correct and working perfectly, it can't possibly travel down far enough to lift the front there at the needle valve to allow fuel to come through. And the result again is this small gap, which won't allow enough fuel through for I engine revs. And although there's enough fuel available below here, it won't be able to come through that small gap quick enough to feed the top of the metering area here. And then of course, as we've already explained, there'll be less available for the main jet here. And then of course, in turn, there'll be less available for the engine. So taking a look at the working scenario here, it's the same outlook as the last scenario. Each time the piston cycles, we've got less fuel going in. Each time the engine revs high. So eventually we've got bogged down. And in this case, it's all because that lever is angled too far low at the back. Again, this is another thing that's often overlooked. So if you do suspect that your metering lever is over adjusted like this, then it's easy enough to bend back into the right area because it's only made of a thin metal. Now the correct setting for these do vary between different types of carburetor. Some you have to adjust as far up as level with the top of the carburetor body and some have to be flush with the bottom of the metering body. But it's not my intention in this particular video to go into how to adjust these exactly. I just wanted to show you how they relate to bogging down, but I will put a video on regarding the adjustments. And in fact, I've noticed that there's already a lot of great content out there on YouTube about how to adjust these. So thank you for watching this short video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet to keep it direct to the point. And please check out my next video, which is number nine, and that's on the metering spring. Again, thank you for watching.